morning, everyone. Earlier this morning, I visited the Governor-General here in Canberra and he accepted my advice for an election to be held on the... In Australia, federal elections must be held at least every three years. On election day, Australian citizens aged 18 years and over vote to choose the people who will represent them in the parliament. The political party, or coalition of parties, with the support of the majority of the members elected to the House of Representatives, forms the government. The leader of the government becomes the Prime Minister. In contrast to the House of Representatives, most senators are elected for a six-year term. After the general election, the parliament is formally opened with a welcome to country by Ngunnawal people. Senators and members then assemble in their respective houses. The Usher of the Black Rod delivers a message summoning all members to the Senate. Honourable Members, the Deputy of His Excellency, the Governor-General, desires her attendance in the Senate. The ceremony is held in the Senate because there is a convention that the Queen, or the Governor-General representing the Queen, does not enter the House of Representatives. This tradition dates back to the British Parliament in the 17th century. Pursuant to the instrument which the clerk has now read, I declare open the 46th Parliament of the Commonwealth. After the Parliament is officially opened, members return to the House of Representatives to be sworn in. In the Senate, new senators are also sworn in. The next item of business is the election of a Speaker. Is there a nomination for Speaker? The House of Representatives then elects a Speaker. This is important because no business can be conducted in the House until the Speaker takes the chair. It is customary for the newly elected Speaker to be reluctantly escorted to the chair by his or her supporters. This is a tradition dating back to the early UK Parliament when some speakers were beheaded or imprisoned. Uh, Clark, I remind the Senate that it should now choose one of its members to be president. Uh, I move that Senator Ryan take the chair of the Senate as president. Later in the day, the Governor-General arrives at the Senate to address members of Parliament. Honourable Senators, please be seated. Once again, Members of the House of Representatives are summoned to the Senate. As is tradition, the Usher of the Black Rod knocks on the door three times and waits to be admitted to the House. When all Members of Parliament are gathered in the Senate, the Governor-General makes an opening speech. Daranuna Daranunawal. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Nunawal people, and pay my respects to their elders past and present emerging leaders and all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders gathered here today. After the Parliament is officially opened, it is business as usual for both the Senate and the House of Representatives. This includes debating and making new laws, discussing issues that are important to the nation, and making decisions about governing the country on behalf of all Australians. <laughs> 